All right, let's talk a little bit more about file path. So in JavaScript, sometimes you, you're going to import other files or you're going to link to other files and um, we'll see how that works. But for example, sometimes you're going to do something like this and we'll talk more about import and export, but you can, you can maybe try to import a function from a particular file. So here you need to specify from which file you want to import. And so now we need to talk about the path of wherever it is that you're importing something from. So let's say there's another uh, functions JavaScript file and it would be it would be coming from here, let's say. How would you, how would you, what would be the path to this functions.js file? Typically in a JavaScript file, you would write it like this. So you would say dot forward slash. So dot is current location or current folder. Um, and then it's just the functions.js file, right? In the current uh, folder, right? This is very this is very tricky because in the HTML file we don't use dot forward slash. Right, so here I'm linking to a script.js file in the same folder, and I could write it like this. This works, but in practice people write it like this. Right, so without dot forward slash, so it's in the same folder. So in HTML you leave off the dot forward slash. Here in a JavaScript file we often include it the dot forward slash because if you do it like this, when you use a bundler for example, it thinks that this uh, is a an, a module in the node modules folder, right? So if you don't have any dot forward slash, it's gonna it's gonna think it's part of the node modules. So here it means it's just a local file, um, you know, not in the node modules, and it's in the same folder. So that's how you would specify it. What if that functions.js is in another folder? Right? Maybe uh, utilities. Right? Let's say I put this functions.js uh, file in this utilities folder. We need to go from the current folder into the utilities folder right and that's how we would import it right so you can just uh yeah it's qu it's quite straightforward actually you would just follow the names of the folders if you have to go up one folder right let's say the script file itself let's say that our script file itself was in the utilities folder and the functions folder was outside here right so now we want to link from the script folder a script file which is in the utilities folder, we want to link to the functions.js file. How do we do that? Well, now we need to go up one folder. So you do that with two dots, and then we are in the in the root folder already. So then it's just functions.js, right? So one folder up, and then it's the functions.js file, right? So this is current folder. This is going up one folder. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.